In our last session, we read a letter from a man who was puzzled and hurt that people he thought were friends from work snubbed him when he saw them at a bank outside of work hours. I began a metaphor comparing him to a piano composition and suggested that his friends were simply unable to comprehend or play, so to speak, the composition he had written with his life. And it was their right to make that choice. Now, back to the writer of the letter. Before we get to the productive choices you can make, let's continue to use the metaphor to illustrate the unproductive choices available to you. If you've written a piece, I can't play, would it make any sense for you to feel bad about the piece you've composed? Ridiculous. Just because I can't play it doesn't mean the piece you've written is defective. Similarly, just because your friends can't accept and love you does not mean that there's something wrong with you. And yet, nearly all of us have gone through the agony of doubting our self-worth when people have failed to like us, haven't we? We've learned this from the time we were young children, if we weren't accepted by a playmate in the sandbox, or by the right click in grade school, or in a given moment by a parent. The examples are endless. The problem is not with us. The problem is with the person who is not capable of being unconditionally loving. And yet, we have the most difficult time believing that. In fact, we've been crippled by it our whole lives. Next, if you've written a piece I can't play, should we blame me for not being able to play the piece? I suggest that blaming never does any good. I may be able to play any number of other pieces. I may be working toward playing ever more difficult pieces. So why bother to stop and blame me for what I simply haven't yet accomplished. Ridiculous. Leave me alone and let me learn. Similarly, it would be foolish for you to be angry at your friends for not accepting you. You don't understand their entire lives. You don't know how they were raised. You have no idea what course they're on and what they're prepared to learn next. You have no clue whether loving you is something they're remotely prepared to tackle at this point in their lives. So, it would be supremely arrogant to judge them for not loving you. Next, if you've written a piece I can't play, should you do something to hurry up the process of my learning how to play the piece? Again, ridiculous. It is none of your business whether I play the piece. Who in the world are you to tell me what I should do? And it's the same with your friends. The most important principle in relationships is the law of choice, which states that we all have the right to choose what we say and do. The moment you try to control what your friends do, your relationship is over. As soon as you try to control your relationship with them, influencing them in any way, what they give you is no longer freely given. And now what you get from them isn't real love, which is the only thing that makes a relationship genuine or alive. So you really don't want to push your friends to do a thing. So what can you do here? We'll talk more about that in our next session. <music>